Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail Kamalim bringing you the station news across the globe. After the success of the first three-year cycle of the Silesianity Laboratory organized by the province of the Northern Philippines, FIN, in the three-year period 2017, 2018, 2019, the first online Silesianity course at the level of the Silesian region, Asia, East Oceania, began last Friday, August 6. The course is led by the Filipino Silesian Father Francis Gastillo and is aimed at Silesian members of the Silesian family and lay collaborators in the mission of Don Bosco. In total, 109 participants in the first session, representing most of the 12 circumscriptions of the AEO region, with a large delegation from the province of Thailand, which deployed the beauty of 27 participants, 21 lay people collaborators in the pastoral and educational activities of Thailand, and another six members from Cambodia, whose presences depend on the THA province. A group of 14 people, young people from the Zik Republic who in the past have carried out Silesian missionary volunteering activities, made a community trip to Central Europe in July. Accompanied by the Silesian priest, Father Yaroslav Falk and the daughters of Mary Help of Christians, Sister Maki Hanukava, after passing through Austria, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro, the group stopped in Troda where it also welcomed a Zik volunteer country serving there. In the following days, the young people created an itinerary camp for the region, sharing walks, moments of Silesian spirituality, leisure and contact with nature. Then back in Chkroda, they got to know the local Silesian presence and its challenges. And then on the return journey to the Zek Republic, they stop in Medjugorje. At the provincial headquarters of Cochabamba, a meeting was held between the project office of the province of Bolivia of Probol, the Don Bosco Popular Schools EPDB, the Silesian University of Bolivia and Kami's work in order to identify opportunities to strengthen provisional guidance and job opportunities for young people living in Kami, a mining centre located at an altitude between 3,600 and 4,500 metres above sea level, where the Silesians have been present since 1970. Seven. Father Gulermo Basinis, superior of the province of Central Africa, received last July 31st the perpetual profession of the Silesian coadjutor Bartholomew Buchende. The following day, August 1st, the Bishop of Uvira, Monsignor Sebastian Muyengo, ordained priests, eight deacons, including two Silesians, Father Pio Makano and Father Nadind Floribert Muzaliva. The Silesian coadjutor and the two new priests are all three originally from Uriva, where the Silesians began working 19 years ago. At the Emwas center of the province of Poland, Warsaw, over 150 animators, 15 Silesians and a sister of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians participated this year in the stages of oratory information promoted by PLE province through the School of Oratorio Animators, SAO. Everyone was very actively involved in the preparation and training and the course was appreciated by everyone. The animators who completed the third degree of the course were given as a sign of recognition to a cross. From July 24 to July 27, the inspectorial meeting of Tiro Sinans of the Inspectoria Sao Domingo Savio in Manuas took place. This year, the theme was Living the Sacrament of Presence. The training was contributed by priests Jose Benedito, Josue Nascimento and Daniel Kunta. Speakers use as a base text Reflections of Acts of General Council No. 433. Bringing to discussion the sacrament of presence, preventive system and the relationships of both in the new virtual patios. The central points of these formations were the presence that transform, free saviour at the individual and collective level, action of listening and dialogue and eternal apprentices. The meeting ended with a moment of coexistence between the participants and the organising team in the city of Presidente Figueredo. Tiro Sinis is a formative stage for Silesian who concluded the period of philosophy and then are sent to the various communities to live with more depth and integration Silesian training, pastoral experience and religious consecration.
the Burmese population continues to suffer both from the difficult socio-political situation generated by the military coup last winter and from the COVID-19 pandemic and its consequences. Even among the solutions in Myanmar, several infected were registered while the Central Emergency Management Team sent the protective devices to all the priests who could be contacted, a not an easy task given that almost all the cities of Myanmar are in isolation. In early August, up to 2,000 victims are reported per day in Yangon City alone. In the photo, Burmese citizens looking for oxygen cylinders. On August 7, 2021, history has been made when Don Bosco schools from all over the Philippines virtually gathered for the first selection to educators' formation, coming together as one. Almost 400 participating selections and lay educators of 12 selection schools from Bacolor, Kanlubang, Cebu, Dumaguete, Dumangas, Liluant, Mabalakat, Mandaluyong, Makati, Mati, Tarlak and Victorious came together for borderless education preparation. The highlight of the launching is a topic, What Makes Salation to Education Relevant in Distance Learning, conducted by Father Fidel Maria Orientient, SDP, PhD, the Provincial Superior of the FIS. Also, Father Rooney joined G. Under, SDB, DBTI, Victorious Principal and FIS Commissioned on Youth Ministry, presented the mechanics of the common formation. Moreover, Father Jobet Vivo, SDB, FIN, CYM Delegate and Father Jerry Martin, SDB, FIN Provincial, graced the event with their messages for the opening and closing remarks, respectively. The Maria Health Province, Cambodia, Myanmar, celebrates a unique event in the history of the Institute on Cambodian Soil amidst the raging COVID-19 in the world. On 5th August, the sisters and their educating community in Cambodia rejoice for the first profession of Sister Charlene Jiawen Chua, who is of Chinese origin from Singapore. Sister Charlene is the only girl coming in the middle of her two brothers. Even though her parents were not yet Catholics, they prayed for one year in the grotto of Our Lady of Perpetual Help for a second child and Charlene's life was the gift of their prayers. The whole family received baptism on 8 December when Charlene was two years old. Ever since, they gradually grew stronger in their Catholic faith. Only one day left to participate in the very beautiful crowdfunding campaign launched by the London Eco Domain. Here in the outskirts of Kant, Normandy was launched two years ago, the project First Covenant, for a platform accompanying by the skill and work of the London Eco Domain. This project consists of creating organic and local vegetable marketing, processing and distribution activities. It's only a few kilometres from Kant AIFST, the St. Theresa Family Institution, born in 1928, a member of the Don Bosco Social Network, has six hectares of land. So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. See you again tomorrow at the same time and in the same channel. Thank you for joining us.